Hey guys, Rich here with a video on how this mix track software works for the Pioneer decks these days. It's pretty sweet so far, I've been playing around with it. So, first off, first thing we're going to do is go to mixtracks. or sorry, mixtracksnet.com. You can see the link right there. After you go there, you're basically just going to go, yes, if you speak English, go to English, and then press download. To go into downloads, choose if you Windows or if you're Mac. Of course, for me it's going to be Windows. Once you click that, download file comes up down here, and just follow the instructions how you normally download a program. So, let's close out of here. Yes, and then, then you'll get this. Once this comes, it's going to ask you if you'd like to import your iTunes or if you would like to import a music folder. Um, I did not import my iTunes because I don't usually use iTunes because I have an Android. Uh, so, I ended up importing just a music file. Now, I have about 1500 songs, which um, took a while for the fact that it, uh, it downloads them and then it measures its beats per minute. So, first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna download all your songs. This is the quick part. But, when it starts doing the beats per minute, you basically want to walk away from your computer if you have a lot of songs, because it's going to take a couple hours. So, might as well, like I said, do this before you go to bed or something, just so you can literally just leave it be and let it do its thing, and after it's done, the results are somewhat like this. I'll just give you a quick show. So right now, just to go over some of the stuff, you can see that there's different categories beat, chill, you just click on it, and I was on, I think it was Thump, and what it does is it just chooses all of the songs that have a nice thump and, you know, categorizes them like that. Now, the other cool thing is, as you can see right here, you have Standard, Simple, and Active. Active only plays, as you can see, a short time of the track, and it uses simpler effects. If you look here, Simple uses all of the track and uses Simple Effect. And then same with standard. Now what you can do with each one of these is you can go here, click on settings, and you can change all the settings and stuff like that. Let's pause that. See, it pops up no matter what I do. But as you can see, you can switch some stuff on there. But as you can see, just to give you a bit of show about transitions and whatnot. We have it on simple right now. So let's go with something a little bit more different than this. Uh, let's do some sweatshop union and a weasel. Still gotta feed the kids, still gotta light and heat the crib. I understand that nobody's gonna get See, as you can see, all it's doing is it's mixing the ends of the uh, track. It's kind of neat. I mean, for a program to do this and, you know, match the meat, or at match the beats, it's doing pretty good. Now, one thing I am going to be doing is I'm going to have a playlist, because you can create playlists, as you see here. And uh, when you create playlists, let's see if we can do this here. It's just file create playlist perfect what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all my fast beat techno songs and I'm gonna put it all there and so that way it sounds better because I find with the rock songs it's alright but it kinda sounds crummy but with all the uh, actual like dubstep songs and stuff that I have it's really cool it's one huge dubstep remix if you have like a hundred dubstep songs so um, I'm gonna create another part of this video where I'm gonna show you how this looks on my Pioneer P8400. Um, it should sound pretty sweet. It's the DVD deck, and I will show you it inside my Mazda. But for now, I'm going to end the video here, and this is kind of your how-to. 
I'm still fooling around with it, so if you have any questions, um, feel free to put it in the comment section below. I'll try and help you out. Alright, have a great day.